For 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples, giving many convincing proofs that he was alive. This was the last part of his mission on earth, to convince the disciples that he'd not only died, but really risen again. After completing this last part, he ascended into heaven on the 40th day of his resurrection. Maybe you've wondered why Jesus went away. Why didn't he stay here? Surely a visible presence would be much better. I can't answer that question. But what I can tell you is what Jesus is doing after ascending into heaven. Through the Apostle Paul, God revealed in his letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1, It is as great as the working of his mighty strength, which God worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule, authority, power, and dominion, and above every name that is given, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. God also placed all things under his feet and made him head over everything, for the church. Jesus has ascended into heaven to rule all things for the church. That means for you. This is a great comfort for Christians. As you go through the trials and difficulties of your life, as you suffer and struggle, we can often wonder if God knows what he is doing if God really cares. But remember this, the one who died to take away all of your sins, the one who suffered on Calvary so that you could be forgiven, the one who was raised from the dead, is seated on the throne of God. If Jesus was willing to suffer for you, there is nothing that he won't do for you. And he is in the position of authority, so he can do whatever you need. So as you struggle, as you suffer, as you go through trials and difficulties, remember who is sitting on the throne of heaven, Jesus, your Savior. Amen.